Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be filming a luxury wish list. Now, I love these videos, I watch them all the time, and I just thought I'd film my own and share what's on my luxury wish list. Now, my list is very short, I don't have a very long list. I'm trying to think about all the purchases that I make and make sure that they are things that I really want in my collection and that I'm not just buying things because I'm influenced by other people. Uh, that's sometimes that's not always possible because we see so many things, we're bombarded by so many images that, you know, they're at some point we're going to be influenced. But I feel like it's important that we take time to think about the things that we really want and how they're going to fit into our lifestyles. With that said, let's get started. So the first thing, if you see me looking down, my list is on my phone. So the first thing that's on my list is the Cartier Just On Clue ring. Now, I've been thinking about adding another ring to my collection for some time and I just believe that I'd really love that one to add to my left pointer finger. I don't know, I just feel like that will look good and I'd be happy with it. Next up, we have the Van Cleef and Arpels Vintage Alhambra Necklace. Now this one I have thought about for probably over a year or more. Uh, I've looked at it in stores. I'm still trying to decide between the Mother of Pearl or the Onyx, which at this time I'm leaning more Onyx. But if there was one thing on my list that I feel like I would really, really, really want to get this year, it would be that. Like, if I don't get anything else on the list and that's the only item I get, I'll be very happy. I'll be a happy girl. Next on the list is an item that I don't... I'm not quite sure if it's um, discontinued or not. So I wanted the single chain bracelet from the Tiffany T collection. I went to the store last year and I tried it on because I was pretty sure I was going to pick that one up, but... I didn't end up getting it and I was checking the website right before I filmed this video and I noticed I don't see it on there anymore. So I'm not certain if it is a case where it's discontinued or not, but if you guys know, let me know. If not, well, I don't know, maybe I'll look into getting it second hand. I'm not sure though, but that one was on my list. So next up on my jewelry list is the Hermes CDC 24 bracelet, which has been on my list for a while. And I'm still, I'm still thinking about it. I tried one on, not last year, year before, 2020, and it was gorgeous. I feel like if I get it, it would definitely be the gold, and I believe the color is, the color of the leather would be gold. I believe it's called gold. And I tried that on, perfect combination, looks so good. And I don't really know why I'm still on the fence, but it's still on my list. And should the opportunity arise, I will go ahead and make that purchase. Next up, we're going to look at bags. And I don't have a lot of bags on my list this year. I l only have three. And the first one is going to be the Gucci padlock bag. Now, I don't know, this bag was never, t in my opinion, was never very trendy, but it's been on my list for quite a while. It's been on my list for like maybe three years. And every year I reevaluate if I still want it because whenever I'm in the position to make a purchase like that, I seem to never buy that bag. I always end up buying something else. But I've thought about it and I still want it. I feel like that one will just make me happy. It's one of those bags when I look at it, I smile and I feel like it will be um, a great addition to my wardrobe because it is both black, brown, yes, it has some monogram, but I feel overall it's a great bag that would suit my needs. 
so hopefully I'm hoping to make that purchase this year. Uh, next on my list is the YSL Toy Puffer. Now, the YSL Toy Puffer, I saw it last year. Uh, I've wanted to add like a designer white bag um, to my collection. And to be honest, I really like small bags. So if you notice, most of the bags that I buy or want to purchase are all small bags. And so... When I saw this one, I was like, oh, this is perfect. It's small. It fits a lot. It doesn't, like, I love my um, toy Lulu, but I hate the fact that it has that divider in the middle. And this one doesn't have that. And it would be in a white color. And I feel like it's time for me to add a white bag to my collection. Okay, next up is the YSL Sac Du Jour Nano. And this is one of those bags that's been on and off my list, on and off all the time. But the fact that I keep revisiting it makes me feel like I should definitely go ahead and make that purchase. I can't say that I'll necessarily make that purchase this year because I, I may look in six months and decide uh, I don't want to purchase it. But it's one of those things that I'm keeping my eye on. And the last item on my list is the Gucci Princeton Mule. Now, this is one of those things that is definitely not trendy anymore, but I feel like it would serve me well. And you know, the funny thing is, I really wanted to purchase that shoe when it just, just came out. And this is why it's very important that you think about your purchases and you don't let other people influence you because I remember saying to like my sister and my cousin at the time that uh, I'm really feeling this shoe and I want to purchase it. And I remember I went to the Gucci boutique, tried it on. I think the only reason I didn't purchase it at the time was because they didn't have my size. But also I had everybody tell me that that shoe is so ugly and that I shouldn't do it and if I do it I'll regret it. Well however many years later that shoe is still on my mind and I think it would be a great addition for me for work because I work in an office that is more business casual and yes it leans more more to the casual side of business casual and less to the business side and so I feel like this shoe would serve me well it's black. I want I want the black color, so it's just something that I would get a lot of wear off, or I believe I would get a lot of wear out of it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. More than likely, that will be a purchase for this year. It will be a yes. So I don't know if I should think about putting this list in order because right now it's not, but that one is definitely high on the priority list. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.